And so our story begins. But who is the hero of our tale? Then let her destiny unfold. That's lucky. Like finding a four-leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Oh, look, little sparrow. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Lucian's having roast duck this time of year. But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. If only we could live there. What is going on over there? Come with me, sis. Hello there, young Rose. You look hungry. Have you reconsidered my offer? We'll never be that hungry. The answer is no. You'll be back, and I'll be waiting for you. Come on, little sparrow. Let's see what's going on. <sighs> that filthy creep. I hate him. No. Oh, it's just a trader. I can't see anything past this lot. Come one, come all. A ladies and a gentleman. I have travelled the land, accumulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer to you for the modest price of five gold. Consider this. This is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into it, it will make you beautiful. I'll take it. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in complete darkness. Ah, now this is truly a marvel. This small, unassuming box is actually a device created by the ancients 
as used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. <laughs> Turn the handle three times and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no such thing as magic. Isn't Murgo just great? We live in grim times indeed, if the young are too world-weary to believe in magic. Most children your age believe eagerly. Look, I can see your eyes are bad, but I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon. But you have an inkling, don't you? Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. What? You... you really think it could be? For five gold coins, you could have your answer. Listen to me, Rose. At the end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream, no closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. What if it is real? I bet we could get five gold pieces, and maybe this could be a way out of here after all. What is there to lose, little sparrow? Come on, there must be someone around here who'll pay us gold to... do something. That's so wonderful. Belinda. Oi, kids, come here a minute. Hello, Derek. Lose something? My arrest warrants blew right out of my hands. They could be in all corners of Bowerstone by now, and I can't leave my post. Hey, why don't you find them for me? You could be like uh, little constables. Sounds fun, right? How much do little constables get paid? Paid? Listen, kids, these are the five most wanted criminals in Bowerstone. Yeah? Well, how badly do you want them? Fine. <clears throat> One gold for all five warrants. Deal. The warrants blew off in that direction. Through the alley, by that bloke with a picture box. So, we look out for those warrants. But for now, let's find some more money. Oh, it's a good day when you get strong armed by a few little kids. Friends and relatives with a lifelike instant image. <laughs> Pull the other one. Hello, children. Hello. What's that? This... Why, it's only the most amazing device ever conceived. It grabs your very likeness and transfiddles it onto a magic piece of paper. It's going to make me very rich. If only I could find someone to modelify for it. We'll do it for a gold piece. Hmm, I only have one gold left. But you're right, I should investalize it in my new venture. Uh, deal. A gold piece just to stand there. Sounds all right, doesn't it? I'm not moving from here till I see what he does next. Go on. Help out an up-and-coming entrepreneur, will you? Now, all you have to do is strike a pose for my little device. You'll be positively betwazzled by the results. Be what? Ah, yes, I've been improving my vocabularium with a wonderful book. Bought from Mergo the Trader. A thesaurus. He's a bit silly, isn't he? But this could be fun. <laughs> Wondrous! This thing's going to be more popular than that pox. Now, I just have to wait three months for the picture to developify, and I can start showing it around. Oh, I can almost smell the gold. 
<laughs> Three months, he says. Told you it was a swindle. Easy money for us. He's a bit scatty. Hope he's all right. We got our first gold coin, though. This must be the alley the warrants blew down. We should take a look. Stupid Go dog! On. Give him another! Can I have a whack when you're done, Rex? <laughs> Come yeah, on! Let him have Rex, it, Rex. Go Come on. here, boy! I got a treat for you. Hey! What the hell are you doing? Having a bit of fun. What's it to you? He hit a girl! Yeah, and now I'm gonna hit another one! Fight! Fight! Ah! Oh, stop it! Let me alone, you nutter! Knock those teeth out! You are like a hero! Ow! Teeth Did you see that? That lunatic shot me right in the head! Thanks for your help. I could have taken him, though. You're so stupid. Oh, poor thing. You've had a horrible time. Don't be scared. It won't hurt you. What you need is someone nice to look after you. Oh, we can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry. But we can't. Now you just rest. Mama. Come on, little sparrow. Let's go. <laughs> Is that one of the warrants? Well, we have our first warren. Yes, another... The warren. Hmm, I don't think they'll miss this leave. Sort of, yes. You kids aren't afraid of uh, beetles, are you? No, that would be silly. Yes, silly. <laughs> no one's afraid of loathsome, evil, conniving beetles. Well, uh, since you're not afraid, uh, how would you like to ruthlessly exterminate a few that are in my warehouse? We'll do it for a gold piece. Done. Ooh, I hope you can make them suffer. If those hideous vermin never can suffer. Shoot the beetles. Shoot to kill. And while you're breaking their hateful little heads open, try not to break any of my stuff. Hey, kid. Balthazar owes some protection money to Nicky the nickname. So how about you leave the Beatles and smash his stock up instead? I'll give you a gold on Mr. the nickname's behalf. Oh, crap. Do you know what I had to do to get those beetles? I'll remember this, kid. That was a massacre. No mercy for the filthy buggers. That's what I like to see. And all my stock is still intact. Genius. Now I think about it, I wonder how those beetles got in there. Wow! I didn't know you were so good at fighting. And we 
I've got another gold coin. We're really doing it. That's the bottle talk. There's that dog again. Get it back for me. Hey, you oh, found one for us. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, I know. You're sweet. But I told it's you my that. money. I can do what I want with it. But you don't need a drink. Buy some food for a change. What will I wash it down with? Hey, look at that, Betty. Two sets of twins. Oh, you'll get my booze back, won't you? You can barely stand as it is. But they can. Bet they can walk straight, even. Get my booze back from that git magpie, and I'll give you a gold piece for it. He's not even a proper beggar. Has piles of stuff, and it's all stolen from bodified tramps like my good self. Let it go, Pete. Save your money for important things. It is his money. Can't he decide how to spend it? She's making all kinds of sense. Well, let's talk about my money. You find that bottle, and I'll pay you to keep it out of his hands. Come on, help an old man out. Let's find this magpie guy. I'll not discuss it. That must be Magpie. And there's the bottle. Get it, little sparrow. But don't wake him up. Stupid Pete. You snooze, I take your booze. Let's go collect our gold from the lady and the tramp. Hey, the quadruplets are back. You've got booze. I can smell it. Are you sure it's not your breath? I'll give you a gold piece for it. Sounds good to me. No, don't fall off the wagon. Wagon? Where? Kids, look out for the wagon! Does he sound like he needs that? Here, I'll give you a gold piece for it. The problem is, you're weak. Give me the wine. Hold it. There's some paper in the bottle. I think this is yours. I used to be an accountant. Don't drink, it'll ruin your life. <laughs> you admit it. Um, I guess I do. From this day forth, I shall stay sober and return to my career as a tax and pensions consultant. Oh, you poor man. Sure you don't want the bottle? Well done. You probably saved his life. And that's three gold coins now. Just two more and we can buy the music box. That's all the warrants. We should go back to that guard. I'm nine years old. <laughs> Glad to be that Rex. He deserved it. <laughs> Stop right there, you little brats. Listen, creep. I told you no this morning. 
Shut it, girl. This isn't about that. Those warrants you're collecting, I want them. So does our friend the guard. Yeah, but you're going to give them to me, see? That was a bit Otherwise of there'll be off. trouble. There'll be trouble, all right. You take these and I'll tell our friend what you really want. All right, you little hard case. What's he paying you? A gold piece? I'll give you a gold right here. Save you to walk back. What's it going to be then? Where do you think you're going? I'm going to clean up this town, and then Lord Lucian will make me sheriff. Have you found them? Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Now, normally, justice is its own reward. But as these aren't normal circumstances, there's your gold piece. That should sort out this town. My career's made now. Four gold coins. We just need one more. The appointed sheriff of this fine municipality, Lord Lucian. Shh. I think Mother heard us. You again? I don't want you sniffing around my daughter. Now push off before I call the guards, you animal. Get in the house, Belinda. And clean those floors. They're as filthy as that no-good delinquent Monty. What's the matter with you? Oh, little ones. My situation is unbearable. Words can't even begin to describe it. Looks to me like you fancy the girl who lives there, but her mum thinks you're rubbish, so she's locked her away. Uh, I suppose that's the gist of it. Why would you ask me then? Maybe we could help you. Yes! You could take my proposal letter to the fair maiden. Oh, there is hope. My heart soars in my chest like... like... We'll do it for a gold piece. Ah, oh, I'm a bit strapped right at the moment. But Belinda's good for it. I'm sure she'll pay you when she receives my letter. Belinda! <laughs> Belinda, 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 Belinda. <laughs> Knock on the door and let's see who answers. Don't let her mum get it. What do you want? Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Come on in. Wait there while I get the money. That must be Belinda. And don't you touch anything. Well, this is wonderful. Here's something for your trouble. Oh, Monty. My little dove. Come on, let's go by. I can't wait to see what it can do. Melinda, what are you doing? Get back in the house. I'm leaving, Mother. I'm going to marry the man I love. What? Oh, Monty, I love you. No, you don't! He's poor! Oh, Mother, you're such a shrew. That's why Father left you, and you can't get another man. Belinda, you shouldn't talk to your mum like that. Now you're taking her side. What? No. Well, maybe you should marry her instead. But you're my one true love. Without you, there are no stars and no moon in my night sky. Only the cold, crushing dark of your absence. Um, 
my little dove. Hello, children. Hello. We've come to buy the music. Very box. wise, little ones. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. I wish, I wish. But where did it go? Why are we still here? Five gold pieces. Let's just go to bed. Oh, I was so sure this was it. I had this feeling like, like we weren't going to be stuck in Old Town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? What are you doing here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. All right, fine. Welcome to our little paradise. Come on, Sparrow, go to bed. <laughs> 